Hey, it's Coach Cass here. Um, today I'm coming to you with something a little bit different. Typically we do a grocery haul on Fridays at noon, but um, I'm getting ready to go on a road trip. So today I'm gonna to be sharing five simple tips to stay healthy um, and low carb on a road trip. So I feel like there's a lot of people getting ready to go on fall break. Um, so hopefully this is helpful to you. And if it is, please do write helpful in the comments. Um, so let's, let's get started. So my five, five simple tips, I think number one for me is um, getting my mind right. So deciding before I go how I'm gonna handle it, right? So I'm, I'm gonna be honest here, like my road trips in my youth, we used to pack a cooler full of soda pop and we had like no road trip was complete without, you know, combos, Dr. Pepper and Twizzlers. Like that was like our road trip snack food. Um, it was like an excuse to go through drive through lines and just, you know, indulge on fast food and treats and things like that. But I know now how I would feel if I did that. So I have no desire to do that now. But, um, you know, so just getting your mind right and deciding how you're going to handle it before you go, I think is the most important part. Another thing that my family does, especially my husband and I, um, this is an opportunity for us to go ahead and practice fasting. So in the mornings we do our intermittent fasting like we typically do. We'll get up, um, you know, get around here. Um, and one thing that the kids might do, like a suggestion for your kids, is to have them to eat something healthy in the morning before you go. So, you know, don't have them get in the car and be hungry and then two hours down the road they're they're asking you to, to pull through a drive through line or you know get some dunkin donuts something like that so um try to you know if if you're gonna eat in the morning eat healthy before you go but for my husband and i i we use it as an opportunity to, to practice fasting so by the same token my third simple tip is to use coffee as a crunch so people often um, either make coffee here and have our to-go mugs or we'll use it as an opportunity to stop it a coffee shop and get a good cup of coffee on your way out of town and just kind of sip on that um, helps to keep us awake and then just the caffeine um, helps to kind of keep us satiated until we are ready to break that fast later on in the day and even then um, my fourth tip which is pack and prepare ahead of time grab some you know low carb snacks like so this might push back our stop time even further so we can get on down the road even further before we ever even need to stop. And these snacks um, are satisfying, are gonna satisfy our kids and um, you know help us to get where we need to go further. And tomorrow we're getting in the car for like 10 hours. So some of the things that we try to do, um, one thing I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna hard boil some eggs and peel them so that we can just throw those in the cooler and have them on hand. Um, we often will cut up some veggies and throw these in a cooler as well. So some celery sticks. Today I grabbed sweet, organic sweet peppers that you can easily eat in the car. Um, these aren't clean, you know, as clean as I'd like, but sometimes I'll get either like keto cheese crisps or some Gouda cheese. Um, these snack sizes of olives that I, I purchased actually on one of the grocery hauls or um, the tuna packets that you can easily open and eat in the car. And then I like the single serving nuts so that you don't end up overdoing it because I know that if I get in the car with a big bag of nuts, all I want to do is eat the whole thing. So this keeps it at a single serving size. Um, apples are easy to travel with. So often we will throw some, but you know, apples that are a good size in the car, Dukes. So we'll pack a small cooler and then make sure that we have plenty of sparkling waters, uh, making sure everybody has their own, um, you know, refillable, water jug in the car so that you know we've got drinks that that aren't soda pop and we don't need to stop for those um so these are some of the things that we pack um and then the other thing would be to research your route as you go so you know we know where we're traveling tomorrow and i have in my mind like you know healthier places that if i have to stop um roadside you know what restaurants are those i think that most restaurants now have an app so if you have something in mind that you know, like this is one of my family's favorites, we can eat healthier here, you can probably download that app and find it or use another app like Google, Google Maps will help you to find um, 
uh, find restaurants along the roadway as well as I think the is it I exit app also sometimes will help you to be able to research restaurants along the way. Um, some of our favorites are getting unwitches at Jimmy John's because they're pretty low carb. We'll stop at Chipotle and get the salads there. And then Panera Bread, we can usually find a decent salad option um, at Panera. And then uh, sometimes we'll even do like a higher end grocery store and go to Whole Foods and, and buy some snacks or some, some items to get us through our trip that way. So those are just a few simple tips that we use just to stay healthy and low carb on the road. Hope everybody has a great fall break.